Welcome back now at 720 this morning. No matter what type of meal you're in the mood for, I'm sure you can find it in Austin's ever-growing network of food trailers. And now there's a guide to it. Tiffany Harlick has latched on to the trendy dining options with her website and blog called The Trailer Food Diaries. And she joins us today. Thanks for being with us this morning. Thanks for having me. We were just talking during the break. So how did you kind of uh, catch on to the food trailer phenomenon. You know, I went on a trailer food crawl with some girlfriends uh -huh. and they weren't maybe where they said they were going to be and what was on the menu online wasn't exactly accurate so I just decided to start this blog to kind of help Austinites know where to go, you know, how to find them and mm -hmm. this type of thing and after the blog we had the Gypsy Picnic Trailer Food Festival and after the the picnic we started this cookbook and, uh -huh. and so now I've got a series of food truck cookbooks that started right here in Austin. That's the, the good and bad thing about the food trailers is that they're mobile. They're, they're, right. they're constantly <laughs> moving. It's hard to find sometimes. And uh, one of your blogs, I noticed, there's a new uh, food trailer park up in North Austin, right? There is. The North Austin Trailer Yard, the Natty. So it's not just a South Austin or East Austin phenomenon anymore. We're growing up north. We're expanding down in San Marcos and other areas, too. So in your tours, what are some of the more unique food trailers that you've seen out there? Oh gosh, well, you, I mean, unique, you can't, you they're know, all unique, they're all unique and sure. that's what's so cool about them is that they have these gourmet chefs that have creative cuisines. Mm -hmm. You can't not talk about Gordo's, right, Big Fat Donuts when you're talking <laughs> about unique and a lot of fusion, um, mm -hmm. a lot of waffles, a lot of um, just interesting cuisine out there. And you just got back from Colorado. I did. I got to meet uh, with the Mountain Oven guys. They are the first food truck in Colorado. Uh -huh. uh, they are literally in a truck, <laughs> so it's not uh, the kind of food trucks that we're used to seeing, like mm. the Peach Tortilla or Cilantro or some of these guys around town. Mm -hmm. um, it's literally a Ford truck, and he's, he and his girlfriend biked across the country from Virginia, um, made it over to Boulder, got a sourdough starter, uh -huh. and um, started baking bread for the neighbors down in Crested Butte just to be neighbors. Early, and they said, oh, you got you to gotta roll with this. Right. And they no did. No pun intended. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah, that's how these things get started. And now you've kind of combined everything yeah. into a cookbook. This is the Austin edition, the Trailer Food Diaries cookbook. Uh, talk about what's in the book. Sure. You know, we've got everything from breakfast, brunch, appetizers, snacks, late night foods. Um, it's all in there. But what I really like is the stories behind them. Uh -huh. So you can have a recipe from each of the food trucks here in Austin, food trailers, but you can also kind of get to know their personality, their flavors, where the recipe was handed down from. And now these are recipes for people to make at home or is this for where to find them here in Austin? Well, you know, because they are transient, um, I did not include specific location information. Mm -hmm. I always advise everybody to go on their social media accounts to find where they are that day. Mm -hmm. um, but no, you can make them at home or you can get inspired and say, hey, I want to try that at the trailer and know what I'm trying to cook. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, yeah. Serving up the American dream one plate at a time. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for being with us. Tiffany Harlick with the Trailer Food Diaries cookbook. Uh, check it out.